Hi everyone, this is Hibba from My Little Journal and today I'm going to be working in my project life. This is week 35, 2018 and I'm going to be using my Studio Calico documentary kit. I actually end up using only the kit to create the spread. I didn't use anything from my stash. Sometimes when I'm behind, I like to stick to a kit. It really makes the process go faster and easier. And also this kit was just gorgeous. It's been sitting on my desk for a while and I was itching to use it because these cards are so beautiful and I really, really had a hard time choosing what cards are gonna end up on my spread. You're gonna see me flip cards over, change out cards. I'm just trying to use as many cards as possible on one spread. I just really, really love this kit. Anyways, once I decide on the cards, I'm gonna put my spread aside and start working on my title card. I end up using my Allie Edwards week stamp to add the week on there and to bring in some color and some depth to my title, I end up using one of the chipboards uh, that came with the kit was like this black and white chevron, so pretty. And I thought it would look pretty cool to kind of ground my week stamp. So I'm gonna end up adding that chipboard and I'm gonna remember to add the dates. I've been forgetting to add the dates because I'm kind of rushing through my project life trying to catch up but I remembered to add it this week, so I'm gonna grab my date stamp and add the um, dates on there. Once I'm done adding my dates, I'm gonna move on to that four by six photo of my daughter. Now, I decided that I'm gonna use a flip pocket for this photo because I did want to journal about this moment. My daughter had a rough time um, a few weeks ago. She fainted, hit her head, had a concussion. It was a really crappy moment. Um, and this girl did not cry. So that three by four card that said didn't even cry worked perfectly with my photo. I think I cried, she didn't cry. <laughs> I cried like a baby because I was scared. But anyways, I journaled about it. I'm just embellishing my three by four card. Because this is going in a flip pocket, uh, I'm able to add my journaling to my flip pocket. And I'm gonna grab my Feed Your Craft Tough Stuff stamp set and I'm gonna stamp right directly on my photo. And I love using three by four flip pockets on a four by six photo because you can still see some of the picture and still know that there's like journaling behind it, if that makes sense. I did forget to add a tab, but I will go back in and do that. I also wanna use this awesome chipboard. I love the color and the font. I end up using it on that four by six photo of my cousins, my daughter and I. Just looked really good against the black and white photo. And then I'm gonna grab this three by four card. I wanted to bring in more of the green from my spread to the center of my spread. So I'm gonna end up using these arrows that also came with the kit. And I'm just gonna add them to the bottom of my three by four card. And it's kind of pointing to this amazing drink that I had. And that card says, let the good times roll. So it's kind of pointing to that, dr that drink. I'm still determined to use more cards on my spread. And this card said yes to this. I knew I wanted to use it either on my little um, drink photo or this picture of my son with his besties in marching band. I cut it out and I end up using it on his photo. It worked better, just there was a lot of space on the bottom of that four by six photo. So I'm gonna end up adding that, stapling it to that four by six photo. I'm gonna end up adding the little banner that says currently loving on this three by four photo. And then I'm almost done, you guys. I'm gonna just embellish the next three by four card with all those 
uh, words and sentiments and things like that. Um, it already had the blue line that said make today count. So I end up using one of the chipboards with the X's uh, right under it, adding that noted uh, wood veneer to finish it up. And I really love how that three by four card turned out. And then I call my layout done. It was quick, easy. I stuck to one kit and it really helped. Oh, and I'm just gonna end up adding a little sticker to that didn't even cry card. And then I believe I call my layout done. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing. And I hope to see you guys very soon. Bye.